known as to how much Na'Vi uh, has played it, but of course, it does seem to have an affinity for them. We're going to be transitioning into game, and it's going to be a, the most awkward moment as we get this pistol started. GG.bet, given Na'Vi the edge. I'm ready and raring to go here, Alex. So we're set up for a bit of a B hit right now. You can see Nap has his utility lined up. The same for Twist. There's only one player over towards the B site right now. And that's going to be Perfecto. He's actually positioned over towards Catwalk. So if this hit comes in, it might be a retake. He doesn't want to hang around and fight. Flashes, nades, they come over. And he's actually going to stick around. Okay, we're already seeing Stewie open up with a couple. And I'm not in game, so this is going to be delayed casting. Chad, take the pistol. Yeah, I've got this one, mate. Don't you worry about that. So bomb goes down on the B bomb site. Stewie over towards Kitchen, trying to dissuade in the boost at Catwalk right now. So up and over the smoke will be simple. They have flashes for this on Boomich as well as the kit. So we're going to come down to the timing of this retake. Four on five, it's a difficult one. Navi now rotting down the clock here. Through Kitchen, Flamey takes a jewel. He's unable to get anything done. It finally finds a frag. Boomich gets the trade. Electronic onto Twist, and now it's a two-on-two. Two. That kit is still in Boomich's hands, but Grim, he's taken down Boomich, and it's just going to leave Electronic Ooh, the last yeah. man standing. I'm back in business, and it does seem to be a bit of a problem now. That bomb's ticked way too much. Electronic, yeah, it's all right. A bit of damage, but he's going down with this ship. Grim seals the deal. Liquid, take the pistol. Finish on B, and good to see Grim finding some early frags, finding an early footing. Let's not forget that he was brought into this roster to be a firepower up grade uh, in that in the ranks in pursuit of glory they were always kind of sick of the podium finishes they were chasing that number one spot believe firepower is the answer and it's been a bumpy road since one zero yeah. though and we do see navi going for the force yeah i think nitro was definitely the glue man of this team right probably did a lot behind the scenes that uh, the community would be unfamiliar with so his loss has definitely been felt for Liquid within 2020, but regardless, they're here on European soil and it's the final tournament of the year. Maybe they can get an upset victory here over Na'Vi to put themselves in the playoffs alongside of Big. This will be the full-on force. Simple saving some residual cash, but it's been dropped across a scout here. That one's gifted over thanks to Electronic, who's up close and personal towards the A ramp. And this one's quite a slow tempered start from Liquid. They're not going for any early mid control smokes and enforcing the issue. They're just waiting for an early push from Navi here. Cutting as many sound cues as possible. The window smoke from Elise getting set up and Grim ready to smoke off towards Connector. They call this one the Momo special. I wonder if they do have any Jason Mozart tool inspired strategies. Oh, okay. That nade's gonna hurt. Stewie cops that one on the dome. In response, lobs out a Molotov and a HE. So Electronic, what are you up to here? What are you flirting with? Twists, he's been heard. And that's a Galil, he better be aware of this. Jumping down, pin pulled, and Electronic can punish a Galil. Oh dear, ramp being held, there's a great flash, but there is still an Electronic threat. Nice fragging. Again, Grim fills the feed, and it is only going to be a flamey and simple. No threat from the Galil now, that can be retrieved, and this round can slow down. Elijah's low. Well, there's a chance here, though. They've just picked up the bomb. So by the time he gets to the Ooh, side, be, there's going to be about 15 seconds. Well. They're right to swap the bomb over to the healthiest. Naf has to get across here. Scout Unscathed. No, he gets across. Thank God they swapped it. Now he can plant. Everyone's low. This is just almost setting the stage for the simple scout show. Flamey's there as well, a flashbang. And that's oh. another tag? Yeah, the mass checked out, out and he's going to back peace out. Oh. Bouncing around. That's unlucky. Yeah. I, oh, is he hanging around? He wants to do some more damage. Simple's not done yet. He could wallbang a cheeky naff. Looks like he's going to try and he's keep just around. Naff's on the retreat now. Wow. Liquid are very lucky to get away with this one. <laughs> yeah. I was just expecting Simple to pull off a headshot onto Naff as he crosses there because the whole time I'm just looking at the fact that Grim has a smoke. I'm like, are they going to throw it? Where are they going to throw it? Are they going to make sure that they can cross in this situation? I was expecting a huge calamity to unfold right there in favor of Na'Vi. Unfortunately, it will be the 2-0 for Liquid, and they'll get away with another buy round here. So upgrading into a couple more AK-47s, the utility's looking good, and now Na'Vi will just have this save scout from Simple. They can upgrade into a couple of P250s if they would like. Loss bonus going into the next round will be that $2,900. So plenty of money for a buy going into round number four. We'll just be a light spattering. Couple of HEs in the mix here. Early one from like Flamey. One. Yeah, nice. Got a chip damage right there. Yeah, min maxing. Gonna be trying to get those extra two nades converted into similar targets, and suddenly those P250s and scouts can pack a punch. Yeah, this should be. 
I know, Chad, but let me say it. Yeah. Let me say it. This is where they're starting to lose a bit of info early, though. So the fact that they've audaciously pushed up behind Simple Scout, Perfecto can be left. He's even dropping back. They could start hedging their bets, Navi. They don't have a flash to pounce out with. They still have these two HEs remaining on Boomich and Simple. So if they cluster up around Connector or potentially Tetris, they might be able to get themselves a cheeky kill here. Oh, there goes the Nader Simple. That nicely, I think. Yeah, nice. Baits it out just through patience and 60 seconds, Liquid. Start to make plenty of noise upon their arrival. Into the site they go. Stewie's having a bit of a duel with Boomich, and that's the frag they needed. Elise again doubles up nicely, and just perfecto. No issues, no casualties. This is actually the perfect start for Team Liquid here on their map pick. Yeah, nice and clean. The fact they're not giving away too many casualties. They had a sketchy round just before, but they've recovered from that. They went with a similar approach. Bit of a clamp down onto A, using that connected position. So conditioning Navi early to show that mid presence is something that they're gunning for. Perfecto has the scout. It's not really worth too much that close range. Now we'll finish him off with the UMP. And now there's the option for Team Liquid if they want to hold on to this Galil Twist and that UMP of NAF to go for something a little bit more execute heavy. Uh, they could go for a bit of a B pounce or straight into one of the A set pieces. But the buy will be coming through for Navi, and it, it just looks like Simple will be bringing out that AWP straight away. M4s for the rest of them. And no defuse kit going into the first gun round. So problems for Navi if the bomb goes down. Let's keep our eyes on a post plant situation. Three straight away over towards B holes. Elise selling a bit of a fake over towards middle. And there is early B presence. So we can see tucked in aggressively will be grim. Meanwhile, over towards A, Boomich is getting inquisitive towards the A ramp. So early info for both sides here, but Team Liquid look like they're more than happy to put on the brakes. More mid presence from Stewie here. And you can see the setup on the radar in your top left. Just how passive Navi are playing off of middle. Close towards A ramp, watching mid from ticket. Two players passive on that B site. They're very vulnerable to a split right here. The rotations will be miles away to either bomb site. So they've got a lot of extra control as the smoke fades. Look at that. Two tucked into ladder room. Bombs on the back of Twist. So he's tucked in there too. Doesn't mean they're committed to B necessarily. Can pivot. But that's a three-man lean from Na'Vi onto A. If Liquid start to, and it does seem they are, lean B. Only two members of Na'Vi that will have a voice in this round. Perfecto and Flamey about to be tested. And it's already a good flying colors for Perfecto. A first, needs a second. Flamey can't hey. provide, and that should be the save call. Yeah, I think there's going to be a lot of this if Na'Vi are going to opt to give up so much room there. Liquid, they just got the territory they needed, went back, and if they traded efficiently like they did, the bombsite was always going to be theirs. There's no information for Na'Vi throughout that round. Did you see the nonsense Naf was doing as well in their opening game as well? Like the nuke wall bang, the yeah, inferno yeah, wall yeah. bang. The dude's looking nasty. That's good to see. Nasty ass Naf. We haven't seen him in a while. I like how British you were with your ass there. Yeah, I. But the thing is, in Australia, I don't even know how we say it. Because say, I say nasty ass. I guess it's an Americanism, but it just feels right. It, I've never really known where to land. I guess my English is broken up between the American and the English English. I saw um, Americans change the spelling of aesthetic so it doesn't have the A because they kept spelling it wrong. I didn't uh, realize that. I saw Elon Musk tweet aesthetic with like an E. It's the ugliest looking word I've ever seen. They've changed a lot of the, the English language. They've aluminum. butchered it. They've really butchered it. And shout out to all the American viewers tuning in to watch the Yo, what's up? Right Good now. morning. Afternoon. We love Afternoon. you guys. What time is it? I don't know. It's going to be It's gonna be about midday. I guess it depends on what side of the states you're on. But all I hope you're having a lovely lemonade and enjoying the Counter-Strike. Well, that save from Na'Vi will facilitate another buy. So that's good news. Hey, Molly, that might stop something. I'm intrigued. No. The electronics jumped through it, though. Maybe that's supposed to bait him in. Either way, no window smoke, and we are going to see a pop flash that could punish. No one's there, though, and Twist's just given the responsibility of caging this animal that is Electronic. And well, speak of it, he's held it perfectly, taps the head of Electronic and CT aggression from Na'Vi. They dip their toe in that water, and, well, it's a bit too cold. They've lost a player. Yeah, so there was a lot of space given to Electronic there. It was clear that Liquid were ready for an aggressive push just by the positions that we saw across the map. And now that they have the number advantage, they can just retool, and it looks like they're jigging back up towards A. All five members over towards Palace and A ramp. 
setting up their smokes and flashes now. They still have a bucket load to work with. Heaps of flashes, Molotovs for four of their players, plenty of smokes as well. And at this stage, Na'Vi have to take another bit of a gamble. And that's over towards mid this time. It's the wrong call. A's been left open. Let's go. Okay, Molotovs will not stop Boomich. He's going to have to try and disrupt this. And that was his chance. Do we may have called it? Can't stop the plan, can he? He does. Knocks it out of Twist's hands. He's made it a 4v4. This gets awkward now, Liquid. They're out of now. They have to mid-round it. This is all about individual prowess now. The utility's gone. But the bomb is down. Two from CT. Yeah, this is doable. There's a kid on Perfecto, but it's all going to come down to this fight on Stewie. They need to get this cleanly. Running we're out of time. We're simple in all of this. Still in jungle. Are they... Are they... Flirting with a save shot. Not now. Perfecto has found an opening. Here they go. Flooding into the site. It's pretty late. Survival integral. Naf does damage. Grim does too. Flamey's there though. And it is going to be Liquid's fifth. They successfully convert another. Yeah, they were lucky they got that bomb down very quickly. So Stewie crossing straight over towards CT spawn on their execute and having control there meant even though Boomich pushed and found that cheeky kill, they could still get that bomb down safely. And a lot of these options are if you're planning in open, that means you need to have connector and jungle smoked off so you can't die. Boomich found the gap, but they found another avenue to get that down. And because they had so much room, they weren't really being pushed around by utility. They weren't getting spammed through the smokes, forced into awkward positions. Navi didn't have a lot of information on that retake either, other than the fact that the entire bomb site was given up. It was always going to be a difficult task. And now we're currently 0-5 down for Navi. Yet to frag, simple. That's uh, not something we say every day of the week. Uh, that's why I felt like I hadn't said his name much. Okay, there has well, been no reason to. Yeah, they've taken a timeout, and this might just be to calm things down. They have enough to justify a, bar, a buy, especially considering this is Na'Vi. Simple with 6k in his bank balance will be going into the AWP. A couple of Famuses in the mix for the likes of Boomich and Electronic. No kit yet again. Na'Vi, they might need to try and do something a bit more coordinated as a team here to find themselves an opening pick, just to give themselves an early advantage. And Simple gracefully puts himself in prime position to hold middle. Now, Liquid, they haven't at any point gone for a lackadaisical just walk into middle. This feels like a risk. The flash pops, but so does the liege. Simple pulls the trigger before the nade does. And now we've got an advantage for Na'Vi. I haven't seen one of these in the opening stages all too often. Stewie's lingering around the beast mode. Don't think this duel from Perfecto is going to be given, though. I think the B can definitely be a bit of a weak point uh, over here. We've seen it get tested in previous iterations of Na'Vi back when I think they had Zeus holding this site. They're able to trade efficiently onto Perfecto, even if they give themselves a three on four situation. That's still good enough. The bomb's all the way back towards T-Spawn still. And there's a minute on the clock. So Liquid, uh, there's no real indication where they want to finish just yet. Look at all the utility they're rocking with as well. If they wanted to go for an execute, they, they more than truly could. Liquid's just smoked out towards mid. They'll land in towards window. This looks like an A split coming two through connector, two through the A ramp. This hinges on how can you shut Simple's orb down? I like that smoke. It means they can take the jungle fight. There's a flash, buy some time for the duel, but Electronics won his and Stewie's gone too. Good shutdown from Electronic. That FAMAS working well and Simple's here to put the cream on the top of the cake. There it is. Na'Vi find their first of the defensives and well, of the entire series. Yeah, and Simple's found his first kills as well. So that's a good start. Finally, they take a timeout, they get a round on the board, and now Na'Vi have a chance to post a second. Now, they need to start stringing a couple together here. A crazy bank hasn't been built from Team Liquid at this juncture, and now they've just been gifted that 1,400 loss bonus. So they're not operating with a huge amount of cash, but if they can continue to get control of the site and plant, they can always be threatening in future rounds. But getting back underway, they could go for a pace change, and it looks like they're setting up for a very, very early A execute here. This is great. They've normally been quite slow, quite defaulty across the map. This pounce might not be ready. Oh, thank God Grim's here. Fills the feed before Boomich does twice. Pressure now. Lots of those suppressing flashbangs, but Flamey cr hits a cracker. Full blind through a smoke. Headshot. Not supposed to be for Grim this round, I suppose. Twist has got a big duel here. Does tuck in. He's got to find Flamey. And Flamey's just finding everyone. This time he had more vision. Oh. But Na'Vi executing. Just twists. Only the one for him. And it will be Na'Vi stringing together some consecutive defensive rounds, recovering two AK-47s as well. 
All right, just picking up any of the leftover goodies, any nades, flashes, anything they can get their hands on. That AWP will be carried through for simple as well. So sitting pretty in RV now. Scoreline five to two. With that plant, Liquid will be able to get another buy on the board. Uh, and that pace change, that's one of the cool things that you can do if you start a half really slow, right? If you start slow and you're winning those rounds, you're conditioning Na'Vi to think that, hey, they're probably just going to go for more of this default spread. They tried to change the pace, go for something a little bit more direct. And they weren't ready for Boomage, to be honest. No, and look, Flamey getting that freebie through the smoke as well, that completely hinders their uh, approach. But it looks like they're going for the same again. Straight Ooh. back over to Warte. Okay. I'm intrigued. Boomich isn't doing it again. That molly will fade and off Naf is Naf's flash. They're going to give it a go. Boomich, will you go into Palace? He's going to try. He heads in. Locked out. He's still a threat, though. They're flooding into CT. Flamey did a still had his nades in his hands. He was not ready for that. And now the bomb's already going down. Twists, make sure of that. There's even a re-smoke. Boomich's yeah. palace, which is being held. This is great oh. stuff from Liquid and Elige. It might have to be a save call. How do you get back in? You've lost CT. They've already got your holes. That was the only pressure point that they had was Boomich alive in holes, and he's been taken care of already. So you can see just how passive Navi are being in this situation. The they audacity. The money. Yeah, look. To do uh, it again, Chad. Yeah, and it's the pace change, right? That's the thing. You're doubling down. Will they expect it again? Well, not this time. So much room taken. I just love that direct nature as well. Flamey caught off guard. I can only imagine how frustrating that would be to come around the corner and see two T's already well and truly in your face. The bomb will go off. It's a clean sweep for Liquid here. They've kept all five members alive. And just that direct approach, we might now see the game start tracking it in a whole new direction. It really depends on how Stewie wants to call here because Na'Vi have lost to the slow stuff. They've lost to these more pouncy-based executes, and they might start taking a couple more risks now. One of those risks is bringing out the double orb, so Flamey's actually upgraded into the second. I got Flamey on the screen just there, having a bit of a chat with some of his uh, compadres. I'm sure that didn't go down as intended. You got the GG dot bet to the top of your screen, still favoring Na'Vi here. Here's Simple looking for another pick towards middle. Standard utility smoke towards top mid, Molotov towards connector, and now it looks like they're setting up for a B piece. There's four players already leaning over towards that side of the map. Just, Just keep it Navi guessing. I love the variety of their playbook at the moment here on the T side of Mirage. And if it posts them nine, you know, they're staying competitive in a map that Yanko highlighted is strong for Navi, albeit underplayed. Yeah, Mirage is always a weird one with Navi. I think it's because, especially on the T side, they get themselves into these weird buying patterns, and I feel like it's a hard map to pull off some miracle rounds, especially time and time again. But regardless, it is a more forward stance in middle here. Simple on cat, orping towards top mid. Electronic burrowed on down. A hard angle to clear. Not something you'd be expecting. Your eyes are going to be more drawn towards that connected position. This run boost could be great, though. He's across. Oh, he has no idea. And Electronic goes down. Stewie. That's quite the catch. And they nearly catch Simple. He's flashed. 50 HP. Molly replacing him. He'll smoke on top to try and maintain control, but it's too late. They've got some pace here. Flamey has an AWP, though, and it's found the head of Grim. Stewie still handing out haircuts. The Maybe there's a round in. here. Two kills so far. Good point. 30 seconds. This is awkward as hell. The bomb is top mid. Do Navi know that, though? Doesn't look like it. They could even oh, pivot towards Stewie. B here. Stewie can cut off the rotations. We're aiming it, and that's just the awareness of the world's best. Still not out of the woods, though. They are heavy, rotating towards A. Elige will be able to plant B. I say with bated breath. There is now Perfecto moving back towards the site he was tasked with. I think he's got time. He's definitely heard this now, surely. Well, they're chasing him. They're straight in. Are they walking? There's a timer on this. No, they're not. Elige. Paranoia sets in. No, he holds his nerve. Holds the line. Steps. A little bit of sound cue action. Okay, first duel was Perfecto, and that's enough. It will be Na'Vi's third. Nice shots from Stewie, but there was no follow-up from his compadres. <laughs> it almost worked out better for Liquid there. I felt if they continued onto the A site, if they had the bomb, they were going to be clamped down again oh, yeah. because of that A ramp pressure once more. So it could have been much worse than the fact that they get the plant here will facilitate yet another buy, keeping them just in that threshold. Could even start bringing out a T-sided AWP if they would like. There is money to do that with, but as I can see, they're going for the five AK-47s again. It's a good way to find the opening there from Liquid. Obviously, they weren't aware of that setup from Electronic and Simple, but they're able to punish it. Double Ops re retained. Flamey and Simple still holding on to those. We get back underway as Electronic. Ooh, okay. Reconsiders the jump here. 
And I think they're paranoid of a fast Stewie. And they're right to be, because he's flying through flames and flashes to tuck himself in. And look, at Electronic, he has to be paranoid now. There's potential for that. He heard the flame sound cue. He doesn't know how far he disrespected the flame. Now already into B. A tag, Grim wing clipped. But he's still shooting damage into Simple. Perfecto does well. So does Simple. Finding Grim, finishing the job. He will burn, though. And now, with Naf's frag, there's an equal stead. 3v3, Nave does good damage. Twist has got a duel with Electronic, but that's an after plan now. Naf could get naded down, even down to 4 HP. If he could just take one with him. If he could just take one, it's winnable. He halves. Boomich's health. Flamey from Kitchen. Hard duel against the orb. Baits the shot. Electronic. Chap peppered. This is awkward. Stewie, though, baited in. He gets himself one. He needs two more, though. Missed shot from Flamey. Adjusts. It's not enough. They have the kits. They have the time. It will be another Na'Vi success on the B retake. Well, it's slavered, right? The fact that Liquid continue to get this site presence and control means that Na'Vi are never really going to get a chance to, to hugely break the economy. We've just had a, a, a tech force called here, so... Yeah, yeah, Chad, can I just ask for you to spend 30 seconds of this tech pause talking to them on your own because I, while I run to the bathroom? I of know course. it's embarrassing, but um, I forgot. Yeah, that's all right, mate. I can uh, I can definitely get that one through for everybody. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as you may be aware, in recent times, uh, these tech pauses, we've uh, stopped talking about the video game in front of you. So I'll bring you some of the highlights of today's match. It was Heroic versus Fury. It was an elimination match in case you missed it. And in that game, it went all three. Now, uh, the middle map is probably the only one if you're going to go back and watch on the replay that you should spend your time doing. It was a very exciting game on Nuke. It was triple overtime. You had Kadian popping off after he wins a crazy one-on-two situation from the hut. Uh, but Heroic, unfortunately, they were eliminated by Furia, who have kept their head above water. Now, what that means for this matchup is the loser of Na'Vi versus Team Liquid will be playing Furia tomorrow. We already have our first decider match for tomorrow going on down, and that will be Vitality taking on the likes of Astralis. One of those two teams will not be making it through to the playoffs, both having lost to a big earlier in the tournament. And... Uh, I'll let you guys know as soon as this one is getting ready and raring to get back underway. Just waiting for one player to rejoin the server. Just to recap. Oh, here he comes. Alex is back, ladies and gentlemen. Don't you Hi, worry everyone. about that. It's you missed me? Uh, I was just telling him what happened earlier today and kind of what happens with the loser of this, this game. Oh, yeah. We've got some banger matches tomorrow, right? We've got Astralis versus Vitality as the opening match of the day. That one, uh, Frankie, Hugo, and Harry will be bringing you. And what then, time do I need to set my alarm for that? Uh, I think that that match starts at 4. So, yeah. Here's the bracket on screen for everybody. So, so this is what we're looking at here. Na'Vi had that opening victory against Furia. Liquid upsetting Heroic in that game. That set us up for this winner bracket match right here. Uh, and then the lower bracket match, we were just talking about that one. Uh, and I think that Furia today, they were looking... A little bit more, I, I want to say, aggressive. I know that seems ridiculous when we're talking about Furia, but like Yuri was taking a lot of space on Nuke. It, it looked like a very confident uh, looking Furia today. I don't know how I feel about the, the heroic performance. I, I think that I just want to chalk it up to a, a good performance from the Brazilian boys. I think so too. Yeah, no, I mean, the fakie boys were coming. Just Brazilian barbecue tonight. Yeah, their bus got a bit of a uh, flat tire, I think, on the way. But uh, I mean, yeah, I think it's it, it's it's been a it's been a mixed bag for heroic. I think that, that there was a you know some some incredibly high highs, but also to see them um, showing some resilience in the in the uh, obviously adversity upon the ESL one Cologne trophy being lifted mm. uh, to to be yeah in in the top eight of the world and uh, competing amongst these names is certainly a big step for them. Of course, you, uh, if you'd visualize that in January for the heroic roster. Yeah, that was quite the thing, right? Because we were do we did that review show where we looked back at it. Heroic, they started the year with Esatag and Snappy on the team, and then right. they had that whole FPX drama, and then they retooled the lineup, and then they started looking fantastic. And it's the same stuff with like Vitality. Vitality are now considered the best team in the world. They started the year with their in-game leader leaving after Katowice, and then Apex had to take over the role, and they brought in a rookie. But we're back underway, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for being patient. This looks like a pacey around. Like this it. is a fast B split. This counter strike is exhilarating. Elise is swinging into B and keeping Perfecto very busy. Oh, good shooting. He's taken off that duel. And well, since Simple's having no issues with Stewie either on the A lurk, 
Doesn't get to do too much with it, nor do Liquid. This is an armored CZ oh. and Grim with some precision. Nice there is a flurry of oh. CTs and he's actually just picking them off one by one. Get a fresh clip, give him another go. 12 more bullets, three more opponents. He's just flicking everywhere. Push <laughs> another guy. Come on, Grim, son. Just takes three <laughs> weapons away from Na'Vi. Makes it as costly as he could. All right, well, that was some nice shooting right there. Unfortunately for him, he's only getting the $100 kill reward for every single one of those yeah, frags. Right. I mean, but... it's more just to try to punish the bloodlust, you know? Yeah. I think as well, the damage that they've done on a round like that, they weren't able to, uh, you know, get that bomb down. But all in all, three kills is fantastic work from Grim. Some reinvestments from Na'Vi now is the double orbs and then all oh, the electronic is in the mix. Now, Liquid... Still maintain the lead, six to five at this juncture, but that could quickly slip away from them. Now, if he could seal this one up with nine on the half. And Lots simple. of flashes mid. That was a lot of flashbangs. As soon as they dissipate, he takes a little peek. Nothing home. Warning shot fired. Simple is scouting the perimeter. They will drop the smoke. Makes sense. As the other fades, they start their progress. Flamey, this double up setup. This is what Navi have been looking to set up. Flamey holds and supports from A. Smoked off though. Liquid have really got they've got all their fundamentals down. It's neat, it's tidy. But it has been quite quiet on the liquid T side. These last three rounds, in fact, even expanding that, the last six, five of them have gone Navi's way. So, so once again, Liquid have mid control, right? Vent room, they've got someone boosted up next to window. Uh, they cleared out connector. So they know that they have all of that under their remit right now, but Boomage is about to have a fight here. Oh, he needed to hit that, and he Didn't does. Shoot. Great shooting from Elige. And now they know that A, short is lost. And B, there is also a lot of unknown entities in middle. You don't have that info now, and it's a 2-2 split regardless. So this is good. It's just a question of execution now. Do they go A, or do they go B through Looks middle? Like, yeah, the connector split. And Stewie can go late window to clear out jungle for them here. So this is a very nice pincer onto the site. That's the first frag from Flamey. Naf does reveal himself from Palace. Gonna need a bit more though from Flame Dogger. Fecto catching one. Quickly traded. Just the orbs. Just an orb now, Flamey. And he's running for the hills to try and save what little he can. He didn't even consider trying to push it in to deny the plant right there. Considering the amount of time left, if he dropped that bomb, there could have been a shot. But holding onto this AWP seems to be the number one priority here as he backs off holding that shift key. But Stewie already, already has an idea that this save's coming through. You can see he's trying to lock him in towards the B bomb site. Flamey will just have to hang around this kitchen area, unawares of where the hunt could be coming through. The other two members, Twist and Naf, they don't want anything to do with this. They're just hanging out in case of a bit of a ninja defuse. 10 seconds left on that bomb now as the music sounds. Flamey will hold on to this AWP and Na'Vi should be able to get another buy going without too many rounds. Oh. Just so, around the corner. So close. Okay, so I think Na'Vi here will be able to get the buy going. Flamey can drop another AWP. Simple has enough money to drop some guns around as well. So this one here shouldn't be too many worries, but Liquid are the ones who have actually opted to take this time out. This will be their first time out here in map number one. And probably a great call because if they're able to break Na'Vi here and stop them from saving some of these weapons, they could get quite the haul, quite the bag here in the first half. Seven's fantastic. They get eight, they've won it. If they get close to those double digits, they're going to be smiling ear from ear going into the second half of play. But as soon as uh, Na'Vi lose middle, it feels like they, they're not... Well, their information plays. We've seen them a couple times, either aggressive palace or a ramp, but uh, Liquid have found the gap, right? There's not too many there, players for, there for them to stop. They're coming through connector. They're able to punish through different avenues. And Na'Vi, with these reads or with the information that's being taken away from them, they're unable to get themselves in the right positions for what Liquid are throwing their direction. So we get back underway here. Top mid smoke again. Molotov to connector again. This is the same pattern being established by Liquid time and time. Yeah, but Stewie's throwing in some spice. Oh. Look at that. Oh, a beheading. Public beheading on the B site. Stewie with the axe on his shoulder. He's backing away. Look what he's forced. He's forced two members of Na'Vi, Simple and Boomich, both into the B site to fill the void of Perfecto. So this is the problem, like, Na'Vi, sure, they've just had to use utility to take back B control. That all happened within the first 15 seconds of the round. 
So you can just see how hamstrung they are here. And Simple has to decide, well, do I gamble A? Yeah, or do I float towards B? What What are the options here? And it, no matter what he does, I feel like with a minute left on the clock, Liquid with all this utility, if they just regather and they trade out efficiently, this should be yet another Liquid round. And it appears to be B. This is the right call. Yeah, they let them come back, over-rotate, panic about the over-rotate, set back up, and now, again, it's just Boomich, solo B. This is cool. Fake flash. Look at that. They're throwing it towards ramp. That's going to get them on their toes. Three CTs on A, and Boomich is gone. Liquid are actually engineering a very well-coordinated T side here. This is a save. There's nothing for Na'Vi to do, and they've already been locked in. So if Liquid spoke about this scenario within their timeout, they should start getting a move on here for this hunt. Naps locked down towards that ramp position. That's exactly where Simple's waiting. They might just want to contain. They know they're up against two orbs yet again. Yeah. And it seems to be working. They seem to be winning the rounds against these guns. So maybe the priority isn't to chase and take these away just yet. Let them keep them. Oh, Twist I don't think Twist like is clear in this. It's only the rifle though, they keep the orcs. As you said, I kind of like what you're, the, the, the picture you're painting there. Just give them, just leave them with only the orcs, the things that you, you're having no issues playing around at this moment in time. It is perhaps the, the setup that you're comfortable executing against. The Na'Vi double orb setup is the one you've, you've planned these strategies to exploit. I, I think that's a big problem for Na'Vi right now is the fact that they aren't finding too much success with these opening jewels because Liquid are able to either find the number advantage or take the space, right? If they're taking the mid control and you're not doing any damage or you're not finding a frag, then they can just whittle you down as the clock runs down. If you're not getting aggressive and finding a pick and even trading it out to find yourself in a three on three, Liquid are just going, you know, counter-strike by the numbers here, ABC. Oh, Simple doesn't miss those. Most of us do. Twist is gone. Great shot, just a momentary glimpse of him before he hid behind that smoke on the jump across. So, an early frag. Simple's found it in mid. Bomb's there, and so is the majority of Liquid. Naf set up for the Palace Alert. Three members, the only other three remaining in round 14, are gathered towards Connector. It's Electronic's task, and lingering in the smoke. They flash off this. This could be about timing. Meg. Just nutmegging him. Both. Oh, they're holding one side each. That's so cool. It's a trade at least. And now Elise has made it even. A big frag onto one of the orps. They have to clear ramp, right? naf has been asked to do so in an important frag, but Simple's found one as well. Orp for the retake. Simple yet to have too much of a hero moment. Up against Liquid, the very same team. He stepped over on his path to glory in Katowice. Smoke on the bomb. No, no kit. kit. Oh, this is painful. Oh, nice control of the spray there from Liquid's newest addition. Grimmett's found it. And with the bomb ticking, Perfecto's run out of time, run out of hope. And nine with an A plan and explosion. That makes it nine to five. Liquid have won the half and then some. Well, it just feels like if, if Liquid play these situations the way that they should, like once they, even though they lost a couple, like Simple got that AWP kill um, and they found themselves in a two-on-two -two situation, regardless with what Na'Vi had brought to the table in that round and the position advantage that Liquid had, just felt if they played Counter-Strike by the book there and didn't do anything silly, they were always going to win that one. So that's nine now for Liquid, looking good for 10, really looking good for 10, and Na'Vi's by, it's hamstrung. You've got an AK for Perfecto, Simple on an M4, a Scout for Flamey, Famous for Boomage, an MP9 for Electronic, Utilities Average, no kit. And this is where Na'Vi like to operate, but so far they haven't been uh, able to chalk up too many rounds off the back of this. And there's another opening kill. Stewie finally brings out the T-side AWP. Boomage is immediately punished. And I love just these changes we've seen from Liquid. Yeah, man. Loving that. Especially Stewie's actually had a couple. I'll, I'll check his opening jewel statistics afterwards. But I can't help but feel it's been a while since he's actually been able to consistently crack into, you know, the signature Stewie way. The way he found Perfecto on B, the way he's just found that frag onto Boomich. Yeah, I just feel like they've been given so much room in yeah. a lot of these default rounds. Like, that opening pick, sure, that's that's not what I'm talking about. I just mean, like, when they're getting that mid-control, the window smoke, the connector smoke, they're getting vent room control time and time again. 
just been given so much room to work with and they're punishing Na'Vi with it. And now back towards A. And again, it would be a fantastic call. There's only one player over towards A and that's Electronic with an MP9. Yeah. He's not going to be able to defend with this. It doesn't get better than this. Stewie's calling a great game. Well, I guess I'll wait here and hope they jump on to... <laughs> There's, you, there's, there's nothing like, happening what, on the execute. It's like, do? okay, well, they're dry running the execute and uh, some bullets are getting spammed through the smoke. And now they have to retake in a four and five disadvantage with no kit. Sure. Good luck. Okay, no kit. Last round, they're gonna go for it. Floating in, two from CT. It's electronic first. He's gonna try and bait for simples M4. There's not even enough time now. What are what they doing? Are they, what are they waiting for? It's like they're defending their KD now. Go, go, go. Good shots from Twist. Simple's on his way in, but wait, absolutely no time. He physically cannot win. You get a kill, though. Hey! There you go. It's 10 to 5. Liquid double digits. And they have justified this Mirage pick to many, including themselves and maybe even their coach. Let's see what the second half has in store. as a good district team. It's really, um, it's slightly different from the, but I mean, as I said earlier, Navi is among the favorites for me as well. Uh, but uh, among all those favorites, I think the, this is the team that relies the most on, on players, on their players, such as Simple. Um, but uh, everybody knows that uh, Navi has like two faces, um, so having simple performing well is enough to take Navi to uh, to play off definitely. They really give everything they have, and uh, and when that that energy is turned into something positive, um, they are definitely the probably one of the best team in the world, if not if not the best. Um, so yeah, it's really up to, to Navi, you know, I, I'm pretty sure we're going to see a, a really strong Navi for this event. And yeah, the Navi we saw, I played against on Katowice, for example, is definitely uh, a Navi that can uh, lift the trophy. It's your bookend of the year Na'Vi Liquid series. We had one in Katowice and now here in December, we're here for the Global Challenge in Liquid. Well, they are challenging Na'Vi. It is on Liquid's pick and they put a lovely 10 round haul 
from their T side. Now, just talking to Chad in the uh, halftime break, he seems to think Na'Vi no slouch on their T side. So, ooh, I love this. Two CTs out the window, down into underpass, and they're about to have a duel, Chad. Yeah, uh, they can't convert the first frag, but Leech does good onto Flamey, and he's getting pushed down. Perfecto now trying to trade out, oh. spamming wildly. Leech, they're both dropping back oh so God. low. <laughs> this is uh, chaos. That is a really, I mean, it could, <laughs> it, it could have been worse, really. Oh, dear. It, okay. have, it worked out anywhere. I mean, they got it, the kill. Yeah, it was such a gamble as well from Liquid on this pistol. You can see on the radar on your top left, nobody went over towards B other than that underpass <laughs> position. So that's left Grim with not too many choices. He's pushing for info. The rotation through CT spawn. It's all going to come down to timing here between Boomich and that of Grim's push. And Boomich has the utility. The electronics just called B clear. Yeah, and that's the problem. So at least he can't fake it. His utility, he might try. And he's, he's working actually really well. Yeah, it's yeah. worked perfectly. All right, well, uh, Liquid going to try and kill Boomish to hold on to their armor. Uh, what's the plan here? The bomb's gone down. The 40 seconds has started. And that's uh, the ruse. It's been rumbled. They've got so much. Just sheer ground to cover, Chad. <laughs> <laughs> it's just they're so far away. They're rotating now, and the bomb's already been down for close to 10 like, seconds. I don't know. if they got their bloody Nikes on? I don't think there's, there's any yeah, way. they're calling it off. They're already calling it off. Yeah. There's just not enough time. Just the amount of time that they had to spend dealing with Boomich. The bomb goes down at the exact same time that he starts throwing that utility onto the site there. They finally finish him off. And at that point, it's like, well, there's so much to clear. What are we meant to do? So all in all, Na'Vi, they get away with just avoiding Team Liquid on the pistol round and find themselves their sixth round. Perfecto probably shouldn't push past the precipice of that doorway, and he won't. But now the cash money for Liquid with that saved Kevlar from a few of their players means their force by situation should be bolstered, right? There's extra cash to splash. If Grim and Naf didn't take any damage to their armor, they can upgrade to head armor for basically free. You can see SMGs. Look at this CT side of buy. They just lost the pistol. They've got two UMPs, an MP9, and a couple of Deagles with some utility to boot. So you compare the two teams' buys right now, oh. the only difference is the AK on Simple and that Galil on Electronic. Yeah, we'll see how long they last and what they can get up to with it. That's a gorgeous AK-47. And he's plying it towards Palace. Flamey's MP7 there for the ride as well. Doesn't look like Simple's interested, but just hoping and backing up if there was going to be any early Palace push from those CTs. This is why I don't like Mirage, Alex. What, this round right now? Just like, just how slow and arduous a lot of these rounds can be. Like, I know we can have that on a lot of maps, but I just feel like when we do nuke, they're forcing rotations all the time. You know, when we do something like Dust 2, there's always seems to be more pace mix-ups. Yeah. On, uh, on a map like Mirage, and um, You got one uh, pace of mix-up. Yeah, Liquid gave us a little Maybe bit. One. No, no, two, excuse me, because it didn't work the first time. Well, here we go. This is basically how Mirage plays out, ladies and gentlemen. Get your mid-control, you smoke window, you smoke connector, you clear it out. And then Make what? Sure well, and then you can decide where you want to go from here. So you normally want to keep a player in electronics position to hear if there's any rotation. They're taking bedroom control. Boomage goes down. Simple reveals his AK, but that's the Galil gone. Okay, Simple's AK's doubled up. Keeps They're it competitive. They are into B. The bomb's going down. They have to try and battle back through kitchen. Simple's containing a leech. Great shooting. Great positioning. I think that might spell trouble, spell the end. Let's twist Steagle's feeling especially spicy. Five kills to his name so far. Certainly hasn't been on tip-top shape. Yeah, so they're far. calling it off. And that's the cancel, yeah. If Twist could find himself a primary, there was nothing in window that I can recall. There might be an SMG somewhere, but it looks like Simple's covering them off, and Perfecto might even spot this right now, so that UMP's called Ooh. out. Ooh, that's a nice shot. Any more? Simple's got 16 HP. He might not want to take the risk. I say that. Who am I talking about? Just a, a, a single spray of the AK, and Twist doesn't want to re-peak with HP like that. Flamey got the Galil there, so they made sure that Electronic didn't die in vain, and, and, and that's good because now be sure they get the round, but it was pretty costly. I know it was a force buy from Team Liquid here. They've been able to hold on to a Deagle and a UMP. Navi will have to reinvest. They want to go for some more Mac 10s or they want to bolster into AK 47s for the impending gun round. It looks like Mac 10s on three players Boomich, Flamey, and Perfecto all into those, the usual candidates. 
And I would traditionally say we might see something faster, but I would say that these three are used to using those weapons on a normal gun round. So it's likely just to see this default spread as two towards top mid, one towards Palace, one towards the A ramp, and one dealing with the B push. So now if he just fanned out across the map here to see if Liquid go for any gamble pushes, try to uh, get away with overwhelming or grabbing some space for free. That UMP towards the balcony, it's met with three other players. You got Stewie towards Connector, Liege. He's up close and personal as well. One player just over towards window. Oh dear, okay. Well, I think Elysia would think better of re-picking into that one's hurt those AK-47 bullets. Electronic into connector as well. They could just go for an A pincer again, but there's a lot of players for Navi to deal with. Yeah, I mean <sighs> but four of their five in the right place. Twist Deagle, one of the most expensive weapons in play. Stewie's USP meets nothing. Naf though. With the UMP spray connecting onto one of the three, they continue to flood in though. Na'Vi storm over Tetris into the site and just grim. I'm afraid, yeah, this one going to be cut short. And in fact, his life could be too. he He's been found. Ooh. Ooh, a warning shot hit. Takes one to the palm. Boomich still though, plenty of chances to hit this long range Mac 10. He's unarmored, so this is going to suck for Grim. I just had to self-mute a sneeze. I don't know if it worked. It did. But, but I tried really I've hard. I've been doing the same thing. Oof. That was an interesting, uh, took me interesting a little days. experiment just there. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad it worked. Okay. So both teams in this map so far on their T-sides grabbed that pistol around and then converted to the next two. So that's fantastic starts for their T-halves. But this is where we see if Navi are able to do uh, to them what Liquid did, right? So Liquid were quite passive on their start to these rounds. It was more default spreads grabbing that map territory. Simple straight onto the AWP. And that's something we didn't see coming out from Liquid in the early stages whatsoever. Top mid smoke, Molly towards connector. Feigning this mid control yet again. There's no presence over towards A at this juncture. Electronic very fast, very noisy through that underpass position. Ooh. CT nade almost indicative that the call's been made. Oh, perfecto. He's so flash, but he still runs. He's just holding W. Well spotted. Grim gets one. Stewie trying to respond, but he's been caught by Boomich's flank. This is great from Na'Vi. Into the site. There's one more test and Elige overwhelmed. Double frag from Flamey and Na'Vi planting into B. Already Boomich hunting for the remaining two. They have to save their weapons. They've just weathered already one eco. A save and now another. Yeah, it's the same scenes, right? There was not very much information early. Na'Vi had shown all that mid-presence and then exploding onto that B bomb site. Using the weapons that they had to their advantage there just to make space. Perfecto going down, you can see how much space he had made though for his teammates to come out. Didn't die to van, didn't die to the balcony position. Means they can come out just with their eyes more focused towards bench in the site. And right now, Boomich is having a little bit of a look in, but with X-Ray, we can see that both of these last two players, Naf and Twist, are up in the apartments position. And there's no way Navi's getting close enough to rip these guns away. Bomb will go off. Max loss bonus will come through. Boomin should get close, but no cigar. Didn't want to tickle around that corner right there. So Liquid have a couple of options here. Naf could drop a rifle, so could Twists. And then you could get Grim here who could purchase him with a Famas. So they could make a buy work. As I say that, Twist has just bought himself some nades. And it looks like it's just going to be a partial investment from the three from the grave. So Grim, Stewie, and Elige into a CZ and a couple of Eagles. Okay, I mean, these rounds, they just need one successful opening duel and things get awkward for the T side. Weapons can be recovered and oh, I think Simple's been spotted on the jump across. Oh, well evaded. What the hang time there from Naf, I thought. That jump must have felt like he's in the air forever. So he gets away. But these deagles and pistols, maybe there'll be more risks taken for the likes of Stewie, Elige and Grimm and that could be what they need in a round like this. Just to kind of destabilize Na'Vi. Electronics ever ready he hears the step he readies himself oh spotted and frags one good trade that was important from Elige. recovers a weapon there's two now in palace he might want to throw one out but he's also got to be cautious of connector now we just got him for free yeah good point the bomb's still t-spawn navi have a the oh, ability no, to go don't. either way yeah, and they have an affinity for ending very late round, and, it, he's, and he's, he's very poorly. Now. Come on now, come on. He's got it. They've got 45 seconds. It's a B call. They're not going to run out of time once in this game, I promise. Are you still? Yeah, I spoke to the Navi manager. He said it's okay. cool. Okay, all right. 
We'll let everyone at home know that that's the case as the smoke's now rain on towards the B site, but there's still two to get past here. In they go with loads of time to spare. Oh, oh dear. Maybe not players to spare. Okay, it gets traded. Boomich up short. Needed that from Stewie. Two to the belly button. Boomich gone. Bomb on the back of Flamey. He's in the oh! side and that's a shot. That's great from Stu. One more required and he hits it as well. Stewie 3k and he puts the 11th on the board for Liquid. Okay, there were a couple of lovely shots there from Stewie just to punish that in RV and going into the bomb site in that fashion, those pistols, pesky bloody pistols. That shot into simple really made that round so much easier. Pulls it out. He's even quick switching like it's the olden days. It all started Woo! with that push, right? You can see that push into the B apartment. Electronic gets one, but they pick up the rifle. They know they've lost that space. Navi are forced over towards the B site, and Liquid get their 11th. Their first round here is that's a tag from him. now through the wall. This is bangs. the wall. Yeah, he's a bloody wall bang specialist. This guy. What's going on? He's got something hidden in that magnificent quiff of his. They've got that mid control very quick here. Navi is Nav's had to reposition. They've actually got. Three players over towards the A site, one in limbo towards window and one over towards B just to defend solo at this juncture with the double orb. So Stewie has that early warning system. Oh, that's the smoke's gone a bit awry there. Skew if towards connector means there will be a gap. Boomich would have just spotted that and called that out. Now they'll have to re-smoke connector if they want to cross safely or a flash will work just as well. Look at that, they just use it on the flash. And now Stewie's getting pressure. This is so He's quick, open. so coordinated. And Simple's even fragged someone on A. Catches twists, and that's just the save call Insta. Yeah, cruel Mistress here, the bounce back immediately from Na'Vi, and it is the affinity for the B bomb site. So they've had a couple of rounds where they wanted to finish over here, previ bomb site. So they've had a couple of rounds where they wanted to finish over here. Previously, it didn't work out against those pistols, but this time, able to find the path of least resistance. And I think they will just let Liquid hold on to these guns. They haven't built a bank just yet in RV, so chasing, it wouldn't be advised. You don't want to give up all those invested goodies, especially the AWP on Simple. Now, I, I'm not sure if Liquid wanted the double op setup or if it's just a case of what they picked up because of their victory in the round prior. Mm. But regardless, that's what they rocked with just there in round number 21, and it didn't land for them here. So I'm not sure if that'll be the key to their game plan going forward. Bomb goes off. Navi now. They're in the double digits. 11 to 10. Team Liquid's favor. Their map choice. And as we stare down the barrel of round number 22, Liquid, due to that pistol by victory with those saved guns, can buy up yet again. So as this purchase is coming through, it will be four rifles and the AWP in NAF's hands. Navi went for a much quicker mid control there. So they've had a couple of different looks in the early stages here. How will Liquid respond? Do they want to go for like a bit more mid control heavy? It looks like it. Three players jumping into the window room. Oh, this is a shot. I release a chance for Simple holding the cross and Twist gives it to him. Strafes across and now look how fast they change their plans. The opening frag from the T side at Orp and already straight to B again. Straight to B. Who is it to receive them? It will be none other than Grim. Naf's there alongside. And Easy was almost looking like he's about to set yeah. up for an A side hold. So this gets really weird. Trying so to reach the rotation. Naf's going to head over back at, as there's more utility exchanged on B. But even That's Navi are changing well. it. Yeah. Okay, so they're just trying to play the rotations right here. So they're just dragging Liquid across the map, just like it feels for us. We don't know what's going on. Neither do Liquid. They're in the dark. Sure, you spot some mid-info. Utility comes B. Naf's in transition. He ends up on that B bomb site, And now Stewie doing his best to delay. Did that smoke miss, Rush? It looked like it did. Oh, at least the trail didn't make sense. Yeah, I think that landed in sandwich, sandwich. So that's not where he wanted it to go whatsoever. Unless maybe they're going to have to spray it. Oh, awkward fight. Okay, Alicia's gone down, and now the 5v3. This gets so impossible if Stewie goes down to the Palace player. It is flamey. You can hear the scoping. He will be hunted, and now he has the jump across. He can't finish simple. It's another frag, just the two of them. Naf has to find at least one on the plant. Fires off a shot. Grim tries to swing to deny, but nothing. A second flash and trying to retreat. Another save call. They might get cut off at the pass here, though. Look at this. Navi more active on this hunt. Boomich is going to peek on out. Oh, he's just going to wall bang. He doesn't want to get stuck into that fight. Simple's here to back things up. A smoke. 
to passively get them away. And Simple wants to say something about these wall bangs. He's seen Naf being pulling off. Tags him down to 30. But Perfecto, this could be punishing. Look how quick they are. Navi really want these guns. They really, really want them, Grim. This is his turn. Couple of shots here. Woo! One more to be found. And nearly. It's Perfecto. Goes down to Naf's AWP. Simple's on the hunt with his 4 HP. He really wants to deny this. Naf's got cash, though. Simple pushes at the final hurdle and recovers his AWP. Well, that hasn't completely bankrupted Liquid here. You bang on. Naf does have a lot of cash. He's been saving quite a lot here. Has 8,000 left over. Elijah's already bought into an Orc, so this will be yet another gun round from Liquid here, but they're going to take a timeout just to discuss their approach here on this CT side because like they were doing in the first half, Na'Vi are showing a lot of looks. It was 10-5 on the half T side for Liquid. They came into this one here, losing the pistol round, and that's really where the story has started for Na'Vi. They're looking much better here on the T half. They didn't seem to know how to respond on their CT side, but the same for Liquid as... I'm not sure if they want to go a little bit more aggressive as a pack somewhere and try and trade this one out to find themselves in a three on three in a mid round because a lot of these situations are bomb goes down and then you either have a choice to go for one of these retakes or you're just locked out with the save initially. So maybe they want to take the fight to Navi. Neither team really being able to get back in with the retake scenarios. And now as the scoreline has hit 11 11 and we hit the business end here on map number one. Liquid have to start going for a couple of them. They can't continue to save. All right, well, here's a bit of a change up. This time it's two over towards Catwalk. It's going to be Elyse and Stu getting into that vent room. So they are showing a different look. This gives them the chance to be a little bit more versatile and more awkward angles to clear over towards mid. Stewie can peer through the vent down towards below window. Elyse can swing out Cat. They're able to pincer it for late connector plays. And look who's coming up underpass, Electronic and Perfecto. Well, they're smoked off now. Molly short. Both of them completely unaffected by this util and able to challenge Connector perhaps with an element of surprise, they're already flooding in. A dink, it's not enough. Twist has gone down with only the damage inflicted. Oh, good. Oh, good he's got a double. He both a collateral through the body of Simple. He finds Electronic. What a brilliant pairing. 40 right. seconds. And this is the 3v3 I was talking about. The bomb's yet to go down. And it looks like a shot's been hit. Yeah, Naf. Tags up Boomer trying to finish the job with the flames. Perfecto in support. Bomb. Oh, he actually gets him with the incendiary naff. Lovely stuff. The game goes on, though. Two from CT. A flash is perfect. Grim's thrown out one. A second for Perfecto's execution. He turns it nicely. If he could just tap naff. 15 seconds and a smoke does get picked up. He can fake it. 10 seconds. Trying to find a one single frag to make this more manageable. Shots into the smoke. He's low, but he does get away with it. Perfecto at least gets his team the plan. And now a frag. Grim. No! Oh! Grim executed. Perfecto. Four kills in the round. But it's a 1v2. And it puts the 12th on the board for Na'Vi. This is so cheeky. HP Perfecto in the chat from Elige. He wants to know because he's denied the odds. It was such a great round from Elige. I can't blame him for wanting to know. How dastardly that one was. 18 HP as he finds Naf on the swing out. And then Grim just put to bed, tucked in tightly. Yikes. Yeah, that one right there. I can't believe Perfecto pulled that one off. You could see him trying to get a little bit tricky around the smoke, still gets it down and still hits two absolute bangers. And, well, that's going to force the time what out from the Na'Vi side. Yeah, that, that was great stuff. Now, uh, that Molotov that killed Boomich, I think Naf actually wanted to throw that on the firebox, the triple box there, so it would melt and he couldn't plant there. Uh, but it's gone deeper, and Boomich has actually run back into the flames regardless. So a uh, little bit of errors from both players just there, but all in all, Na'Vi, they've taken themselves the lead in this game. I think this is for the first time. So with the scoreline now 12 to 11 in favor of Na'Vi, Liquid are going to string together a buy. Naf back onto the AWP. Famous for Stewie, no kits for them this time round. And Utility, it's very skimp. There's only one Molotov to work with. Na'Vi are in the driver's seat of this game right here, right now. Oh, Flames heard this. Yeah, he's already executed one. Oh, um, wow. Flamey. Takes a leaf straight out of Perfecto's book with the precision. 
two members of Liquid charging into Palace and both just knocked on their ass. Elige up mid. He does have to take a chance. Might get two here. There's a chance if he swings on this and Simple's not looking. There's a third of them. There's a third. What a shot! He gets two! Looking for the transfer into a third, but damage inflicted and round now possible. If Grim could just find per electronic, and he has, we are into a 2v2, and they have dug themselves out of an early double casualty. Okay, Flamey and Perfecto. Flamey started this round off hot. Perfecto finished the last round hot. So both of them, we know that they're on point with the shots and they're still working with a bucket load of utility. Right now, we've got Naf over towards CT spawn playing retake. Grim just patrolling that B bomb site. Oh man, Naf's going to have a real cha challenge here. What have they got util wise? Everything. Everything they could possibly desire. And if they go for this round the world into B, that's it's a, a cheeky maneuver. Very cheeky maneuver. Not to be. Smoke connector. Flamey crossing in. He'll be able to plant. Uncontested. Has Naf hasn't got his scope pressed, so he's going to have to make a sound cue for that now. And Grim's doing the same as he charges. Makes the step sound like he's going CT and, well, is going to commit to it. If they go for this and lose, it's only 3,400 in the bank balance for he Liquid. He knows where Flamey is. He's called it and Grim can find it. Now perfecto. Two clutches in a row. Is that too tall of an order? Oh, what a shot. Naf's gone. Grim's not got a kit. And he's gone oh, down dear. as well. Perfecto. A quad kill and a triple kill. Back to back. Two clutches. 13 found. Na'Vi have found a gem. Yeah, if you're looking for impact, there's some right there. I remember earlier in the year, we were talking about Perfecto stats in terms of 1vx situations. He always seems pretty handy in a one-on-one -on -one scenario here, but two back-to-back -back 1v2s, and that set Na'Vi up. I said they were already in the driver's seat. Well, look at this. The buy from Liquid going into the next round. It's just these pistols. The max loss bonus is not enough Chad, for the CTs to get a buy. That, that's going to be a heartbreaker specifically for Elise. He's had two of his best rounds, and both have been clutched yeah, out by Perfecto. You're right. Oh no, all right. Well, Liquid, this is their map choice. We move on to the new, because the next one... This one's not over yet, but it's looking good for round 14 for Na'Vi here. They just need to make sure they use their utility efficiently and trade out onto a bomb site, and they should be getting in. They have the firepower and the utility advantage in this one, and now the number advantage is Boomich from the vent room takes down Naf. Grim's going to be looking for some space, but all in all, Na'Vi can really just put the brakes on here. Is he going to get it again? God, oh, they're very thorough. This aggression from Liquid, very, very troublesome. I don't think they know Grim's gotten here. He's found the one gap that was left open. And it's converted a frag, but I'm concerned. Simple's holding it and doesn't miss, doesn't miss. 21 frags for him so far here on Mirage. He started quite quietly, actually, on the CT side. And now Stewie... <laughs> Just banged. That's two from Simple in the round. And it's 14 for Na'Vi. They keep four alive. They've got a swelling cash stack. And we'll be seeing the double orbs pull down. Yeah. If we hit the panic button. Yeah, and this is the thing, right? Those rounds, the, the ones that have been closer, at least for Liquid here in the second half, has been when they've been able to find a couple of those opening kills or Elysia's got those multi-kills, right? It's hard to replicate that. The double ops mean that Na'Vi will need to make sure that as they're entering bomb sites, their utility needs to be on point. They can't just take these lackadaisical picks, but it means that Naf and Stewie need to find some impact. Naf's already been mollied back. The smoke will dispel that. Flame's just walking out on A right here. This is a risk. This has got a nice elevated angle and he does find the frag. Expecting something fast. He actually dropped his own smoke. Now Stewie, oh. what a <laughs> shot! <laughs> Bloody hell, a wrist breaker from Stewie2k. Okay, two on four situation. Perfecto's been spotted. They know where Simple was about 10 seconds ago and re-picking in. Naf will take down Perfecto and it's just Simple. He would need to get the ace in a one on four situation here. I don't even know if he's going to be ready for Stewie. Of course he is. Simple gets the first. Oh, I remember a particular round against a particular team known as Liquid. When Simple made myself and Henry unbelievably loud and obnoxious. He'd have to do it again. They can hear him. That's courtesy of Grim. Conveying the information, preparing for what will be a retake if they don't contest the plant itself. Simple's There's got so much room. 
So much room. It's making him uncomfortable how much room he has. Oh, he just and missed just the jump onto Grim. Yeah, just as Grim was advancing, now he can kill him. And simple silenced. That's oh. the 12th. Delivered. And every member of Liquid finding a way to contribute there. Stewie with a real wrist breaker shot. I'm sure we'll get that one on the replay. Let's see how much he actually saw. Just there. It was just on the edge of his circle. He sees. Look, look, look. That. Oh, the leg. Wow. Just coming out of the side of the box. Great oh, reaction. Great replay as well. Shout out to the production team. Okay. Uh, well, the double orbs are still in play here. Grim was able to scavenge that second, so Naf and Stewie are still holding on to those, but the economy right now is on a knife's edge for Liquid. Na'Vi have been whittled down as well. They're operating with very little going forward, and the loss bonus is actually in the favor of Liquid if they were to lose a round, but there's Simple again. He's found another opening. He's not quite got enough of a gap to punish there. They're throwing util B. Is this all smoke and mirrors? Na'Vi in their mind games again? Elish is asking the same question. He hears nothing. And no other members of Liquid have had to scurry to support. Three return to top of middle. Two opt for the underpass avenue. So it will be mid control for Na'Vi. That's what they're in pursuit of here. Oh, and a tag. It's Naf's AWP. Stewie's there too. Catches Boomich's swing. The Molly's perfect. Electronic's going to have to retreat. Back into your hidey hole, boy. 4v4. 60 seconds. Bomb top of middle. And it's on simple, so he's going to have to be the decision maker as to where that bomb goes. Obviously, the decision can be made from anyone, but it's simple that has to navigate that explosive device. He's got 45 seconds, and he's miles away from either bomb site. Cool. This is where those type of Navi esque rounds like, really yeah. come into it's play. When simple doesn't want to lose his weapon, and he's got the bomb on his back. The thing is, right now, if they just decided as a team, let's just save and we'll have a crack again next round. Our loss bonus is so low. Then sure, but we know what's going to happen. They're going to limp it one at a time. And there's executed. the first. Simple's gone. Now they kind of have to commit 20 seconds. Because <laughs> otherwise it's just weird. They're into the site. They've got 15 seconds. Oh, it's an RV special. The bomb's not in the site yet. It's coming now. Oh, Electronic's got the frag on. They win him sometimes and he has got a chance. They can't contest it. Now spots one. That's good info. And Twist is partner in crime for this. Surely not a crime against Counter-Strike. But Na'Vi going to get away with this, just mid-rounding their way back into the B site. That's the frag. One more to find. Oh. And it's now no scope. Oh. They secure it with more hijinks on the AWP. Liquid go again. Oh. Mirage yeah. isn't done. This is their map pick, and they're starting to find some CT rounds. That is two in consecutive fashion we haven't seen that before this half and consider the fact here as well that the money situation for both teams would have been dire going forward right. you've got right now navi were only operating with what i believe was the 1900 loss bonus coming into this round of play so you can see with that plant most of their players are operating just below that 3k mark and they've had to call the timeout they can allow you know liquid to get back to 14 by going for a partial by here maybe upgrading a couple of pistols knowing you're getting the 2400 in the next round you want to leave yourself roughly 2k in the bank balance to make this happen but all in all this is a big decision for now here because if they don't go for the buy and they get allow liquid to get another gun round on the board then they're going to have built and and cleanly mind you then they're going to have enough bank to play out the rest of this half so at 14 13 going into round number 28 this is a good time to get blade on the mic just to advise what the best decision economically and to give them the most chances to close this game would be because now v they've really bounced back in this second half they've maintained a bit of a lead here for the last few rounds and they've been the ones taking it to Liquid, but the adjustments from Liquid finding these opening picks, the rounds getting into more mid-round scenarios where it's not just a five on two on a bomb site, has been showing some more exciting CS and it will just be these light pistol upgrades. Four Deagles, one P250. Electronics left them enough money to drop an AWP for simple if they wish in the next. Okay, well, it's a barrage of util. They really don't want anyone going for anything early ramp and Flamey has got Palace. I think he just made a step. Elise might be able to convey that information. Yep, certainly has now. Oh, great shot. Flamey catches Twist just as the ramp smoke blooms. That's a great start. They can really work with this. I always talk about that magic number of three. Now, they didn't come in with a lot here, but they're able to take away another two liquid members. Oh, my God, that was on a knife's edge. Naf takes down Flamey and it levels this one up. So everything I was about to say goes out the window. Liquid are back in control of this round.
no Navi util. can score a plant or something. Alex, that, that's maybe the best thing they're looking at here. Oh, the timing on this. So we could win the round right there. As I say that, Perfecto has got a great shot off. Bomb is theirs, though, and Stewie dropping a deep smoke to stop it. Oh, oh. no, now nah. He's been caught out by Electronics P250. They know where both the CTs are. And Electronics picked up an orb. He is spotted and executed. Big frag from Stewie. He knows the bomb's being hunted, and now he's got the jiggle. Spotted, missing his shot. Perfecto. He's already hit one banger. Two more required. 20 seconds. It's unlikely he can get to the into the site, and Stewie confirms it. Liquid. Making a game out of it in the closing stages of this half. That's three in a row. Four total for their defense. If they could just close this gap, they will have to weather the storm of another Na'Vi, though. Every AK bell, whistle, and orp for simple. 25 francs for him so far. Well, if you take a look here, I think that the orps from Liquid have had an impact in almost every single True. one of these rounds that they've been able to put on the board. The, the last three in a row, it feels like the orps have been instrumental. So that mix up, that double orb change that they've opted for here late in map number one, it's showing and bearing fruit. And again, postured forward is Stewie. Oh, and there's another opening. Another orb fills the feed for Liquid. Oh, chance here. Naf doesn't take any chances with Simple. <laughs> <laughs> Pull it through the, the through the corner of the wall, of course, in true Naf style. But, uh, yeah, this is not the start Navi we're looking for. 14-14, Boomich is down, the in-game leader out of the round, and they don't even have a lot of map territory here. They haven't taken connector control. They haven't forced Stewie back out of the vent room, and there's just over a minute left on the clock. Oh, and he's even spotted Simple dropping down. Take those. That's info. Bomb's still top of middle. Na'Vi, they could get really rotted here for time if Liquid don't give them anything with this info. 50 seconds. Bomb's still top mid. Looks like the responsibility will be given to Perfecto. He's scooping that up after his sweep through B. I'm getting a bit apprehensive here. Oh, man. I, I just want to press the big red button and just say save, Na'Vi. Right? Try again for overtime because this here is just going to be one at a time unless Electronic can simple pop off through it's connector so here. Bomb's coming A. Okay, it's wrapping from ramp, I mean. That's a perfect oh, good flash. And Twist is getting scared. She shots, finally hits Flamey. Needs another. He hears Electronic on benches. 25 seconds. Ramp. Nades. They really want him. He gets caught out. It's a 3v3. Naf under pressure and scrutiny. Molly could finish simple off as it spreads. It's a good dink. It's not enough. Another tag. Stewie's hitting shots, but Simple's done two. Naf does Ten burn seconds. Simple from the grave. Bombs down. It's a 1v1. Stewie for his first clutch. Or will it be Perfecto's third? Crucial moment of the game. Keeping the AWP out. Drops down. Makes the sound cue. Starting to piece this together. Oh, he's been spotted and hunted. Perfecto charges at him and gets the 15th for Na'Vi. They are thanking their lucky stars. They picked this boy up. He is Ooh. saving them. Multiple three. occasions. That's three now. Three crucial clutches for Perfecto here, just in the second half alone. And that, it's not just the ramifications that that is round 15 on the ball for Na'Vi. It's the fact that Liquid, they're bankrupt. They have to force by going into this last round of play. And it was another, another labored situation where Liquid were able to pick up that opening frag and then just with the clock, Na'Vi whittle this down. Somehow are able to get onto that side. Somehow. Oh. Oh, look at this, Alex. A scout, a famous CZ for Stewie. Snapping turtle for Twist. We got the Deagle in the hands of Elige. They've got five smokes. Naf's even invested into a diffuse kit here. It's definitely not the type of buy you want to be throwing into the final round of play. But the same thing can be said for Na'Vi. They were able to save that AWP. Electronics bought into the AK. Perfecto can go AK and head armor. Boomich might want to go for a MAC-10 here. He's actually even opted for a Tech-9. So both teams with a scrappy buy. And oh, they've actually called a Tech here. Looks like we have a little bit of an issue. But as we were just leaving spawn, this will be no dramas. Oh dear, this is uh, quite the build-up for the final <laughs> round of play, isn't it? Can you it? believe it? We're ready. Okay, so Perfecto is just a little lay out of spawn. I think he may have just been having a tech issue of his own. But they'll get their rebuys and we will get this one back underway. So it is an AWP for Simple. Yeah, 
There's been a couple of little changes here. So Stewie's yeah. into the UMP. I think there's Galil's in play instead. Bumic has uh, actually been dropped that one across. So regardless, the buys are still pretty scrappy. All right, well, here then. we go. Final round of Liquid's pick. Perfecto has given Na'Vi a chance to throw a knockout blow to the North American squads. Final round of regulation. And Stewie, I like what he's going for there. The moves are evasive, but it gets some information, at least that there's some members of Na'Vi gathering back apps. It's just the default, though. Yeah, very quiet stuff here. So in rounds like this, normally, you know, the coach, the in-game leader chipping in with, hey, boys, they have to take a risk. They got nothing here. Expect the pushes, expect some aggression. And so far... Liquid have been pretty tempered here. Now V just going through the paces, their default spread. One watching B, one watching A, three towards middle, and they're even going for this window boost. Elysia's using the light. So if they walk through the smoke, that light will dissipate. Old Elysia can spam that Deagle two bullets to the belly and get a freebie, but the smoke's gone. He has to drop on back, and Na'Vi have done a great job of getting mid control here without giving away too many sound cues. Liquid have to be worried about everything right now. As the Beast Smoke arrives, they'll throw out one of their own. That's really good timing from Grim Smoke. They haven't got much util, but it's enough to keep them at bay. Stewie's pushed up on it. He wants to punish that smoke. But now, Na'Vi, Pivot, and Liquid are over-rotating. Naf's figured it out. He's only got a scout for this as they start to wrap back in towards A. Twists only on 5-7. This is a perfect call from Na'Vi with 20 seconds left. Boom, it's low. He's gonna push. Twist needs to hit the shot. Simple has, though. Oh, a tag. One more. Doesn't get it. Bombs down. And now it spells real trouble for Liquid. Still be finding one. A big frag. Recovering an orb oh. as well. Oh, my God. Where did they come from? Everyone's just hit their shots. Still he does get found. A second for Electronic. He's making it difficult. Elysia's Deagle works. They have a kit on Naf now. In fact, he's on it. He's holding it. And they get it. Liquid have taken us to overtime. Against all odds. I don't quite believe it. It looks dead set. It's almost set in stone. We're going to overtime. We'll be right back. Never die. It's pretty hard to say. I think Liquid will always be a, a team that can uh, that can surprise, that can um, that can that can win games. Definitely, uh, 
but I, I, I'm, I don't see them doing necessarily like super good. Uh, I hope I'm wrong. I will be surprisingly, uh, uh, it will be surprisingly good to see. Um, but yeah, I, I think um, it was mostly tough for them to, uh, because they, they had to play the world here in NA and uh, the NA scene is uh, known from struggling right now. Um, I hope they are they're holding up to it by the way and, uh, and full support for, for them. So yeah, it's definitely the, the hardest thing for me to, to, to judge. Well, it seems Navi Liquid can plays on. Uh, we, were, we weren't quite sure how to piece that one together. We just had Yanko come in and try and explain it to us. The final round, Liquid find the frags and retake the site. We go again. It's time for overtime yeah, here on he Mirage. And Nafs flirting with some Orp. aggression straight into middle. Just tucking yeah, in. Economy is no longer a problem here. 16k, so the double ops can be retained for Team Liquid. And that was one of the keys to their Good success point. to get back into this game. So. Stewie and Naf immediately rocking those. I thought we might have seen like a little bit quicker coming out of Navi, knowing the double op setup was very likely. You know, more of an A set piece or an early B piece being really overwhelming for these orps to deal with. But they're just opting for the same default spread. So mid control, while they have their caretakers over towards A and B, Stewie's even getting inquisitive now towards middle. So in transition, I like this change from Liquid. Not as passive. Oh, oh we no, find a gap. Bad very volley, bad not volley. deep. Now they throw another. Not only the cost of another incendiary, but it's another Navi player gone. Boomich, in fact, the first. It is going to be Perfecto advancing upstairs, though. Naf has the info. Oh, spots another electronic on the left side. I'm not sure if he's ready for this. Elevated, good shot. Perfecto equalizes the same rap. We haven't seen this before from Navi. It's working wonders. At least under so much pressure, he does well to find one. And there is a bit of a dank flank being spun. Grim, trying to flank through, and Flame is in Palace. And Grim can get them both. This is great fragging. He's caught Electronic. Stewie, smoke simple off. Great smoke, but is he going to assume it won't be pushed? You know what happens when you assume? Makes an ass out of you and me. It's fading. Stewie gives it a cursory glance. The smoke will fade before they can defuse. Now they've spotted one, and it's each of them finding their necessary frag. 16, the first round of overtime found. And of course, as you highlighted, money less of an issue in our MR316K. Yeah, and let's just take a look at the scores on the doors here. We obviously haven't had a frag come in this round from the likes of Boomage or Twist, both having a, a strugglesome time out here on Mirage. Only nine kills for Twists. We've got uh, 12 there for Boomage. If they can step it up at all, that might be the difference maker for their team here in the overtime. And GG.Bet odds are still favoring Na'Vi in this one. A little bit more aggressive from Liquid now. Elise down in towards the underpass. Orpa overseeing middle as well, using that smoke as a bit of a one-way. Elise might swing on this if they spam this smoke. Oh, is he going to get spotted? Quick trade. Perfecto is there. Right behind Electronic. Doesn't let his death go unannounced. Or untreated. Now... Twists, as you highlighted, has been quiet, and he has got responsibility of that A site. Stewie that's got more likely to find contact though is Flamey once again doing his usual palace lurking antics. Some pins pulled in middle. Stewie's so vulnerable to Flamey's peak, he can take him whenever he wants. There's still a minute on the clock, right? And the bomb is hanging around middle. They're boosting Boomich up towards this window position. Grim doesn't know whether to cross on over and help out the A defenders or still hang around towards this kitchen position to stay with Naf. But we can see that it looks like the bomb on the back of Simple will be heading over towards A. And that is where Twist, the man that we mentioned who's been having a hard time, is defending. He needs to get one kill here. He needs to slow the flood onto the A bomb site. He cannot go down without a frag. We've got a lovely pop flash for this. So if he's just staring at it, this is going to be a very blind twist and a very loud perfecto. So blind, just executed. Perfecto finds another good, important fragment to do. He can focus on a second, and he does take down Flamey. Pressure from every angle. Needs another. Confirms he's crossed towards Time the now. stairs, and he hits the shots as well. It's great round from Stu. 
And they just don't have the time. Simple's gobbled up a flashbang. A blind no scope, and it's four kills from Stewie2k on the AWP. Fist bumps exchanged. They're back on the board. Big round there from Stewie. You could see him just transitioning towards the site there. A bit of a gamble from Liquid. They were playing with no information whatsoever. It came down to hitting their shots. And four big ones from Stewie. And as we're tied up again, 16-16. Looks like no one can really separate one from the other here today. Simple closing in on the 30, 28 kills for him. On the other side, I believe Stewie was on 27. Could be a little bit more direct from Na'Vi here on the final round of the first half of overtime. They have four players up in towards the B apartments, just one over towards middle right now. So if they want to set up for a pounce, their flash is a good. Stewie's going to get overwhelmed here. He'll need to do some of that magic again. <laughs> the wiggle works. Stewie gets it. Is he really going to go for more? He goes for the jump. No scope. What is this? You're not called Zera. Simple's walking into the site. Nav finds one before he's turned on. And it's only a liege. He lets him know where he's coming from. And it's just a slow peek from Simple. A missed shot. Bearing down. And a dink is not enough. So, 17 to 16 on the half. Of our first overtime of our first map of our third series here. 19's the magic number for those of you playing at home. If we go 18, 18, we do it all again. This is MR316K. And Stewie might be regretting going for uh, a very flashy pay play right there. He did a great job to find that opening kill. Obviously, feeling he was going to be overwhelmed, went for a risk and it didn't pay off. But let's get this second half underway as it will be double orbs for Na'Vi as well. Flamey, the buys are almost mirrored right here. Electronic onto that org. And Liquid are using the run boost here to get mid control. And speaking of boost, there's another one now on the B bomb site. Simple's hit is 30. That's 32. Who's below Simple right now? Rushley? Perfecto. Okay. They've lost mid control. Looks like they want to go for a bit of a fight. So in transition here, Na'Vi, they're not staying static on the CT side, being quite dynamic. The boost up over here towards this short position. This might catch Dewey off guard. Flashes over. Now he's ready. Oh, oh it's and simple, simple goes scoped. down. He knows he was boosted. He wants the second. Molly is not deep enough unless... Ah, uh, Legion hold it. That's safe enough. Twist though with his knife out. He's really not having the read of things. Electronic anticipating this hunt. Elysian Electronic quite the standoff here. Pulls the trigger and wins the duel with just 10 HP to spare. Recovers Simple's AWP. They're coming for Perfecto. They want him. They want his sight. They want that 17th round. And now he's burning. He's flashed. And he's got no chance, no hope. Grim takes it from him. Bomb, though, is loose. Naf recovers. Oh. Needs to plant it. Where did that frag come from? Alicia's gone down. He was low. Now short's a threat. Gathering in kitchen, both of them. They partner up. Oh, they spotted that. They know he's bench. He holds the angle for Boomich's push. There's no U tell, but it's a good frag from Boomich. Naf has to come in clutch. He can do so when it matters, and a very quick scope onto Flamey's noggin. One more required, he's just dancing with Boomich, and not quite going to hit the mark. It's Boomich's triple kill and defuse that gives Oof. Na'Vi 18. One more for Na'Vi now. This is a sew-up map number one. It's been quite the battle. It was 10-5 in the first half, two liquid. They had a great T half. Na'Vi were very passive on their CT side, and then we mirrored things as we switched on over, but now Na'Vi... One round away from closing, this Liquid need to hold on if they want to keep their hopes and dreams alive here on their own map choice. Stewie's into that AWP, and you can see Electronic getting fired up. The high five's coming out. Deep mid smoke here from Simple. He's going to try and lock out any early mid aggression. A bit of a different face here. Stewie boosted up for an opening pick, and Boomish runs past it. He even gets the kill. Elysia's oh. down. Boomish is just so... Cheeky sometimes. The way he oh! finds those opening jewels down goes Stewie. Flamey finds it nice and easy, and that practically seals the deal. What have you got left, Liquid? So much hard work. And now it's been taken from you. One nade, one frag at a time. This is their map pick, and now...
staring into the abyss. Two and a half players remaining. Oh, was that a gap? Did Flamey have a tiny gap there to work with? Either way, Liquid are working with very little here. There's a minute on the clock. They're out of the majority of their utility. It's just one smoke on Twist, a couple of Molotovs. They're going to pounce through this, Alex. It's going to be the A finish. Taking jungle. 45. <laughs> a CT smoke says no. Oh. Naf has found electronics. So what was a 3v5 becomes just a tad bit more of a conversation. Twist into the site loudly. Flamey's he's holding. Twist spots him with the jump. Boomage fragged. Flamey finds one back. Maybe Liquid. I've got 20 seconds and they're all counting on Naf Light. It looks like it's Narvi's oh. and Perfecto. He seals the deal. Narvi take it in overtime. Liquid's map, Mirage, and it falls to Narvi. 1-0 up in the series, looking to do even more damage and secure a spot in the playoffs.